Hey, girls and boys, it's Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Um, big day today in math. This is uh, our last video. It won't be that long, but I do want to get into our multiples of three, six, and nine. Um, and you might see why I'm putting those together, right? Because three times two is six, and three times three is nine. So they kind of work together, right? Um, so let's take a look. We've got our... Um, Next many hundreds chart, I make it really big for you to see. Okay, the first thing I like to do is why don't we underline um, all of the multiples of three? Okay, so if you underline all the multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 1, 2, 3, 30, 1, 2, 3, 33, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so go through and do that. And then um, come on back and we'll take a look, okay? All right, so these are all the multiples of three between zero and 100, okay? Um, and do you notice any patterns? Anything you notice? You might notice um, there's like another sort of like diagonal going here and here and here and here and here. Um, they end in all different numbers, right? Like there's a, there's some of them end in ones. Twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, it's all mixed up. So some multiples of three are odd, some are even. Um, in fact, I noticed it went odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So every time you do it, it switches, right? Um, there's something that you may not have noticed that I want to point out that I think is like really cool about multiples of three. Um, this works for nine as well. We'll take a look. But, um, all right, so if we, take, if we take any number that's a multiple of three, let's take the number, um, it's two digits, okay? Like the number 75. And I'm going to add the digits in 75. So I'm going to treat the seven as if it's just a seven, okay? So seven plus five equals 12. Okay, so I found the sum. This is called finding the sum of the digits in a number. 7 plus 5 is 12. Now you'll notice that 12 is a multiple of 3, because 3 times 4 is 12, right? Um, in fact, if you add the digits in 12, 1 plus 2 equals 3. What? Mr. McAndrew, is that like a magic trick? No, but it does work. Let's try another one. So, so you get a sense of what I'm talking about here, okay? Um, let's pick another one. Let's pick, um, ooh, 81, okay? So the number 81, if I add those digits up, I get 8 plus 1 equals 9. Now notice that 9 is a multiple of 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Let's do one more. Uh, let's see. What if I did the number... Um, the biggest multiple on here is 99. Okay, so let's look. 9 plus 9 equals 18. 18 is a multiple of 3, because 3 times 6 is 18. And if we add up the digits in 18, we get 9, which is also a multiple of 3. So if you're not sure if a number is a multiple of 3, if you add up the digits in that number and that new number is a multiple of three, then you know the whole thing is. So for example, if I had a big number, like, I don't know, 3,645, okay? I'm going to add up all those digits. Three plus six plus four plus five. And that equals, let's see, nine plus four is 13, plus five is 18. Okay, so 18 is a multiple of three. So therefore, 3,645 is a multiple of three. Crazy, right? Pretty awesome. Yeah, very, very cool. Okay, um, now what I would like you to do is I would like you to um, circle, let's circle the, the nines, okay? Just the nines. So we're looking at like nine, and we're looking at 18, and we're looking at 27, like that. So go all the way up to um, 100, all right? And then come back when you're ready.
All right, so you can see that it makes one big diagonal here, and then you put the 90 and the 99 here, right? Um, like the threes, you can see that they end in all different digits, um, but you can see that all the multiples of nine are also multiples of three, which makes sense because nine is a multiple of three, okay? So um, now that interesting pattern we saw with the threes also works for nines. So check this out. In the number 18, what's one plus eight? Nine. Uh, 27, what's two plus seven? Nine. What's three plus six? Nine. Four plus five? Nine. Five plus four? Nine. Nine, nine. It all adds up to nine, which is a multiple of nine. Now look over here. 99, if you add up the sum of those digits, you do not get nine. What do you get? You get nine plus nine equals 18. But 18 is a multiple of nine and one plus eight equals nine. Ah, isn't that crazy? All right, so it always adds up to a multiple of nine. Um, let me think if I can come up with a like a big number to try out. So what if you were like, is this number 28,242 a multiple of nine? Okay, all right, well, let's see. Two plus eight is 10 plus two is 12, plus four is four, 16, plus two is 18. Look at that. So yes, it is a multiple of nine, okay? And I can prove it because look, 3,138, I, I use division. But if I multiply that, I get nine times eight is 72, nine times 30 is 270, nine times 100 is 900, and running out of room here. Uh, nine times 3,000 is 27,000. Okay, so I've got two, four, carry the one. Uh, regroup the one, nine, one to two, eight, 28,242. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. All right. Um, okay, this video is not turning out to be as short as I thought, but we're getting there. Um, last two things we're going to do. I want you to um, uh, mark off the sixes on here. Why don't we do that like with the corners again? So let's do six, um, 12, 18, 24. Okay, up like that. And um, here, we'll just do it together, okay? So we've got 30. We've got 36, 42, uh, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72, 78, um, 84, 90, and 96. Okay, so you'll notice um, I don't have any fancy tricks for six. Um, actually, I, I do kind of. So six is, if you'll notice, okay, they're, all the multiples of six are also multiples of three. And they're all, well, you tell me, are they all even or odd? They're all even, right? They're all even. So if you have a number that is even and it's a multiple of three, then it's a multiple of six. Okay, so like 78, right? It's an even number and it's a multiple of three because eight plus seven is 15, which is a multiple of three. So therefore, you know that 78 is a multiple of six. Okay, so that's how I think of the sixes. Um, so you've got your threes, uh, you've got your sixes, and you've got your nines here. The only number we haven't found multiples for are sevens, okay? So um, we'll put those on this chart and that'll be the only number we do on this chart and that'll be the last thing we do um, on this many hundreds chart, okay? So let's just circle our sevens in any, whatever color you have. And when you're done with that, then we'll take a look and um, we'll get to your independent work. All right, so these are all your sevens. 
Um, there's not a lot of them. There's nothing fancy about them. There's no interesting sort of pattern, really. Um, it's just a matter of knowing them, right? Uh, at least up to like 70, right? So seven times two is 14, three sevens is 21, four sevens is 28, et cetera, et cetera, okay? But these are all your sevens. So you can use this chart to help you with your independent practice today, which um, looks like, let me grab it here, looks like this, there'll be some questions. There's only, um, I think there's only two, yeah, there's only two pages, okay? And it looks like this. So like the first one, list four multiples of 10 between zero and 100. Okay, so look back at your chart and you've got a bunch of multiples of 10 right there. Okay, um, it asks you some questions. Um, it says circle the numbers below that are multiples of three, so you can use your chart for that. Um, yeah, so there's two pages, okay? Um, and I think that um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You wanna use your mini charts to do it, okay? And uh, on this section, it says write true or false. So, it, so if it says, 42 is a multiple of 6 and 7, right? And you look at your chart, and you're like, huh, 42, yep, it's a multiple of 6, and it's a multiple of 7. 6 times 7 is 42. Then you would write down true, okay? And if it's wrong, if it's false, right, then you would write down false. Um, and then at the end, there's a challenge puzzle, Okay, it's optional, but if you want to challenge yourself, then go ahead and do that. All right, boys and girls, good job. Big day today. Friday will be a little bit lighter. Um, and uh, doing great. Keep it up. Be safe, be kind, and I'll see you very soon. All right, bye-bye.